Hey everyone, so good morning. It's May 17th, 2019 um, at 10.36 in the morning um, in beautiful New York. And today I wanted to talk about something that has honestly been bugging the shit out of me for years. But I never made a video out of it, about it for, I don't know, whatever reason, um, but it's been coming up in my life and um, I figured now's the time to talk about it because it's just, it's been like affecting my life personally um, and I'm, I'm just like seeing it firsthand. So basically, um, my issue is, I already need water. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Bottom line, straight to the point. So, like, in case you don't watch my videos, I identify as transgender, transmasculine. Got a little bit of gender fluidity to me. I go by he, him, his pronouns. Okay? I am sick, and I've always hated this bullshit fucking culture of down with the cis, cis people are the devil, trans people thinking that cisgender people are horrible and just like the worst people in the world. And the reason I'm using this as a broad term because I know that there are people that are watching this that are in the trans community or non-binary or GNC that do not hold these values that are on the same train as me. Um, so I don't like, you know, umbrelling people, but for the purposes of this video I am. I'm gonna lump everyone in together. Um, but it bothers me because there are an, a plethora of Facebook groups called like down with the cis or literally I think there's one called the cis or at it again where it's literally just like 16,000 members posting memes, taking screenshots, telling stories about how people in their lives that are cisgender, which for those of you that don't know what cisgender means, it means a person that was um, assigned either male at birth or female at birth and still identifies as that gender. Whereas someone that is transgender, such as myself, I was assigned female at birth, I don't identify as that gender. Therefore, trans um, meaning across, um, across genders. Um, so what bothers me is just, woo, uh, what really bothers me is just the core of it is this, this hatred and this animosity. And I could literally stop my video right here and just say that that's what bothers me about it. It's honestly disgusting to me. I understand that there's a truck outside my window and it's very loud, but um, in all seriousness, I understand that as a trans, as trans people, we are a minority, that we are, we are a minority and we are, what am I trying to say? We're a minority and we, we are, whatever, we're pushed down as a class. I, I can't think of the word right now, but like, you know what I mean? We, we, yeah, I get it. We're marginalized. And we don't have opportunities and we're discriminated against. I get it. And there are cisgender people that are fucking hateful towards us. I get it. There is violence perpetrated against us. People are being killed. There are people being assaulted. All types of things are happening to us. But to lump the other half of the human population and to tell and to create this narrative that the other half of the world is like wrong and mean, I just think is really, it, 
ignorant and honestly just as close-minded as the people that you're getting mad at for. Like what? I don't, I don't know. Like I get it. Like I, I obviously as a trans person has faced many discri discrimination throughout uh, my time being out as a trans person. It happens every single day. I get misgendered every single day. As time has gone on, it hurts less, but like for an example, for an example, today is Thursday. I just had to play uh, on Sunday, off off Broadway. Important stuff, New York, you know? little bit of high class. You would expect some type of respect simply because it was a little bit of a classy venue, right? My character is a cisgender male character in which my whole part and the three people that are in the show, including myself, so there's three, two other people, my whole part is talking about how I am a cisgender male who struggles with an eating disorder and is a burn survivor. But it's mostly fit, focused on the eating disorder part and body image issues. And it is a direct address to the audience. It's tennis court style, which is also referred to um, for any of my theater nerds, it's called a traverse stage, meaning that there are audience members on both sides both sides of the stage and our we as the actors are in the middle so I'm literally directing lines and making eye contact with members of the audience and I had a line where I had to like um, like kind of just say something mean to someone and anyway um, the line was actually what do girls like and I aimed it at this person and I was like, I'm kind of like, this is kind of cringy because I, you can't tell someone's gender identity, but like you have to go with it. And anyway, long story short, I talked to the person after the show because another line I aimed at them was I said like fucking pussy. Um, I, I was like, the line was just like, you're a fucking pussy for having an eating disorder was the line. And basically they were describing me to their friend as she. And I was like, I just did a whole, it was, it was a short man play, six, it was a, it was a short play. But it was like, I just did a whole play where it was very clear that my gender identity was male and you're referring to me as she. So what I'm saying is I have microaggressions and macroaggressions against me every single day and yet I don't bottle that up into hatred. I was sexually assaulted by a cisgender male and yet I do not hate cisgender male people. I dated a cisgender male for a year but he recently, like literally two weeks ago, just came out as gender non-conforming. And I understand that there are people with different stories that have different levels of trauma and perhaps have had horrible things happen to them that um, inform their experiences on how they look at the world and I'm not in a place to judge them and tell them that they are wrong but this whole movement of hating cisgender people I just think is absolutely ridiculous and uncalled for and the reason I'm bringing this up and all transparency and transparency I mean I'm gonna dance around this a little bit is I realized on dating sites through firsthand and one of my cisgender friends who is kind of interested in more soft femme men and kind of feels comfortable with trans women because they um they identify in like the feminine side as well 
but because their picture and their gender presentation is male, they don't get messages because they're read as male and they're read as cisgender. So it's just like, I just have a really big problem with this and I think it's fucking bullshit and I think it needs to stop. And quite frankly, I think we need to stop acting like victims. I get it. I've been there. I've been sexually assaulted. I get misgendered every day. I have immense trauma from the things that I've been through as a trans person. And it is not the oppression Olympics. As I've said, there are people that have endured a thousand times worse than I have. But the fact that there are so many Facebook groups that are literally poking fun and are literally at their core hate groups. Hate groups. Why? Why are we spreading hatred? Hate does not equal hate. Just because there are uneducated people that cannot understand who we are does not mean that we do not to need to continue that cycle. Let's educate, let's inform, let's speak out, let's have panels, let's hand out brochures, let's create YouTube channels. Let's not create fucking secret Facebook groups and take screenshots of your Aunt Sally saying something stupid.